one of the things, the connotations that come with sprinters, regardless of female or mostly males that I see, it's the arrogance, it's the cockiness, <laughs> it's the swagger. Bro, so like, do you, is that a requirement? What is that? Is it mandated that you got to have it? Just let everybody know you got the sauce or what? Well, first of all, we don't get the privilege of having uh, four quarters. Like you do, or yeah. we, don't get, we don't get the privilege of having two halves. Like yes. other sports, we get nine seconds, my brother, nine seconds to show up who we are and to be able to finish that race and show a little swag. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have like an intro. And then when you come across that line, you got to be able to celebrate the right way. Because you only get nine seconds. That's it. You don't get no minute. You don't even get 10 seconds sometimes. It's nine seconds. Do or die. One four to the end. And look at the time. 9.82. Plus 0.7 meters per second. And I tell you what, when the evidence comes through, I think that Martin... I guess it kind of puts you up there alongside the Maurice Greens, doesn't it? The Michael Johnson's double World Olympic champions. Is that how you see it? Um, right now, I really can't say that's exactly how I see it. I think I'm on the path and the road to greatness. Put myself in the history books, but I have a lot more to accomplish. You're a very confident young man. I try to be. I mean, that's part of the psychology of being a sprinter, I guess, is it? You have to. You know, it's a thin line between cocky and confidence. You have to go out there with the mind frame that you're the best in the field and you're here to win. Well, now, that's a very interesting thing you say there about the thin line between cocky and confidence. How do you stay on the right side of that line? Well, I always tell everybody that I let my feet do the talking. And my supporters, they are the ones who can brag and boast about all my accolades. I go out there, I run, and that's, I get the job done. Yeah. It's fast. It's, it's full of testosterone. It's raw. You have to go out there. It's, it's a man's man sport. <laughs> そして受けるもいいぞ。ガトリンにいいぞ。そしてコリンズだ。ガトリンか。コリンズか。ガトリンでだ。ガトリンで。ポッポ、見応えのあるレースでしたね。ゴールするまで誰が。パマドスラヘ
In fact, you took two looks before you got to. What happened there? Definitely. Um, we were, we were on the back, and Justin getting, we were warming up, and beside each other, he was kept looking at me. I said, okay. Yeah, I did enough to be in front to win the race, but I, I slowed down too much, mm -hmm. and Degrassi just get the edge of it. So, it brings me now back to the lane eight that you got. What if you had won that race? Degrassi got what? Lane what? Six. Who would I get lane six if you had win the race? Yeah. You would have gotten Degrassi's lane. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I wasn't thinking. Um, I, I, I totally <laughs> get sidetracked based on... Um, you get carried away because of the banter on the, the yeah, thing. because, yeah. It would be a great feeling to not be, be a villain. You know, I've been called a bad boy, you know, um, but I, I scratch my head at that because I don't do bad boy things. For me, it, it's never happened to me until Justin Gabby. I ran once with him in, in Zagreb and he, he did something which was really funny to me. Uh, we were walking back and forth, we were doing our strides out, and he, he actually spit across my lane. <laughs> and when he did it, I know he was trying to intimidate me, and I found it really funny, because I say, yeah, it would work back in the days, mm. you'd probably f somebody out, but I know I'm better than you, so <laughs> it's not going to bother me. So I found it really funny, so today, no, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I just go out and enjoy myself and just relax. I'm not a bad guy. Getting to the warm up here, and I looked across and Justin Gatlin, and I could see the fear in his face. And he keeps talking to me like he said, yo, and dapping my fist. And I'm like, why, why are we having a conversation? It's proper rivalry right now. There's no reason for us to be talking. Like, but the fact that he kept doing that kind of let me go, hmm, you're not so confident. What sort of start will he get? Well, certainly a tremendous start by Gatlin further out and Bolt into his stride now. Those two coming clear of the field now and it's Gatlin and Bolt. And who's going to win it? It's very close, but it's the great man, I think. Kind of got wild, trying to keep my momentum going. And that's all she wrote, you know. It was a, uh, almost a photo finish to the finish line. Justin, you've been under a lot of criticism at these World Championships of being a 33-year-old sprinter that's running the fastest times of his life. People don't understand that. How have you dealt with that and, and how do you respond to that criticism? I, I don't respond to it. I'm happy just to come out and represent my country and people who respect me and love me. And it means a lot to me. We keep me emotionally inside. And I'm just happy to be here. Excellent. Thank you. We, Justin, we need to I, hear you say, we need to guarantee I'm bringing the gold to medal win. back to the U.S. <laughs> of A. Yes. He just said he's going to win. I'm going to win. We oh, bring it to the oh, so yes. USA. We bring it USA. to New York. We go, out, we go out on a tour all around the country with, the, with it around my neck like a gold chain. That's wow. what I'm talking about. It's the arrogance. It's the cockiness. As soon as I watched that video, everything changed. Gatlin got a good enough start. Bolt was a bit slow to begin. He's got some work to do. Gatlin's in front. Bolt stretching out now. He's coming after him. He's a mortal now. And it is his personality. We go out on a tour all around the country with it with around my neck like a gold chain. Justin Gatlin from the USA. Well, it's a clean start. It's a good start by Coleman. The Americans flying in lane number five. It's the American leading the Jamaican at the moment. It's going to be Coleman, but on the outside in lane number eight. He wanted to be here from the crowd. Absolutely fantastic. At one point, you fell down to the track, and we saw the emotion in your eyes. Can you just explain what that meant to you with everything you've been through in your career? I dreamed about this day. I worked hard for this day. And it took for me to not be selfish and think about myself and to think about others to give me that fight. And that's what mattered the most. Congratulations. Thank you.